A piece of legislation in the state assembly is threatening to ban tackle football for anyone under the age of 12. The author of the bill says it's to protect players' overall safety, but parents and coaches say it'll do more harm than good. I'm Ruby Rivera, your Delano neighborhood reporter, where coaches tell me they're focusing on overall safety and believe AB 734 is not necessary. Our local Delano team has also bought AEDs and uh, other safety equipment. We actually have a full-time uh, medic. Coach Mario Nunez with the Delano Bengal Youth Football League says he's personally content with the safety precautions in AB1 and says it doesn't make sense to ban the sport completely as it's much more than that for the kids who play. And I was a police officer for 25 years and those 25 years I've noticed it if you keep your kids active and they do something, they don't have to deal with law enforcement and they, they get taught a lot of respect stuff. Nunez says he's seen attitudes change, grades improve, and friendships grow through the power of football. That's the case for 10-year-old Benjamin Tirado. I just wanted to start playing because um, I was I didn't want to be in the street too long and I wanted to lose um, like weight and I didn't want to be just playing video games all day. Tirado says although he first used football as motivation to improve himself, he found an overwhelming sense of love for the sport and has made true friends. But assembly member Kevin McCarty believes kids like Tirado shouldn't be able to play based on health concerns. Assembly Bill 734 would not allow a person younger than 10 and 12 years of age, respectfully, to be a youth tackle football participant through the organization or league. In a statement from McCarty, his reasoning for the bill is that it'll help protect kids and nurture their brain development from the contact sport. However, Dr. William F. Baker, director at MD Baker Associates for Centric Health in Bakersfield, says medical studies show injuries can happen in other sports. There's about a 12% greater risk of injury in soccer than there is in youth football. There's a 74% increased risk of serious injury in skateboarding and over a 50% increased risk of serious injury riding a bicycle. With tackle or flag football, Dr. Baker says injuries of concern include soft tissue and fractures in areas that could affect a child's growth. But 10-year-old Elijah Watson, who broke his thumb playing football, says all he could think about was getting back on the field and would be devastated if the bill went into place. I would feel like so sad because that's taken away me and my friends game that we love to play almost every single day. If you could describe football in one word, how would you describe it? Exciting. Coach Nunez says that if every program followed the rules of AB1, then there would be no need for AB734. He says lawmakers should focus more on the programs that don't follow the rules rather than eliminating tackle football altogether. In Delano, I'm Ruby Rivera, your neighborhood reporter.